This is Richard Wolf from Democracy at Work responding to another Ask Prof. Wolf question from our Patreon community. This question comes from Stephen, and it uh, is similar to enough other questions that I'm hopeful the response will speak to many of you that are concerned about the fetish of growth that capitalism has had from its beginning, and that is powerful in our society today. The notion that what we have and what we should cherish is growing all the time, expanding, and so on. It's even gotten to the point nowadays that it's it becomes humorous in the sense that given the climate change problem, the environmental problem, the notion that we have an economic system that is driving itself to become bigger and bigger and produce more and more seems almost to be a craziness that we ought to think about. So Stephen's question wants us to think about what is going on. Why this focus on growth? Is it necessary? Is it peculiar to capitalism? How would socialism deal with growth? Or even with the opposite of growth, degrowth, shrinking an economy, but between growing it and keeping it stable and shrinking it, what's the whole growth issue about? So let me begin by explaining why capitalism has a unique problem here. Both economically and politically, growth became a fetish, uh, a, a kind of idea fixed in people's minds of having to happen. Let's start with it in economics at the level of the enterprise, the firm, the, the factory, the office, the store. In capitalism, one business competes with another. You know what they compete over? Typically, rates of profit or market share. They want to grow because if you grow, you hire more people, you produce more output, you generate more profit. With that profit, you will be successful competing. You can buy the latest machinery. You can go further afield to find inexpensive inputs. You're better positioned to survive if you grow. So literally, growth becomes the condition of survival. And what is true for each enterprise then becomes true for enterprises in general. Capitalists are always growing. If you grow, you as the executive in charge, build your reputation. If your business shrinks, so does your reputation. So whether it's the CEO or whether it's shareholders, they want to see growth because that's the measure of success. It's become the driving fetish. But it's also that way politically. That's very important to understand. Politically, capitalism has always been troubled by the pressure, the conflict between the employer and the employee. The employer wants more profit because that's how the business will thrive and grow. The employee wants more wages because that's what the family lives on. And that's an endless conflict. And the solution politically has been to say, wait a minute, we don't have to say no to the worker who wants more, and we don't have to say no to the employer who wants more. If we, here comes the language, if we grow the pie, if we increase product, both sides can have more. The division between them won't change, but be the be, each of them will get, say, one-third, two-thirds. But if the pie is larger, then one-third is more than before it was larger. And so will the two-thirds. And that's how we'll resolve political conflict, by growing the system. So whether you're a political thinking person or an economist of one kind or another, growth, growth, growth. And that's part of the reason why we have done the kind of blind damage to our environment right up until this present moment that so many are rightly concerned about. Well, would it be different? Could it be different? Could you get to an economy that didn't feel the need to grow, that could even consider, if it was environmentally appropriate, shrinking, degrowth, the opposite? And the answer is yes. The answer is to build an economic system whose bottom line isn't profit, 
whose measure of success isn't growth. A socialist economic system, particularly the kind that I understand when I talk about socialism, having to do with workers democratically organizing and running their own businesses, the reproduction of the business, the provision of jobs, the working together with other businesses. So if one needs fewer workers, they move to another place. This kind of a socialist organized economic system would not have to prioritize growth. The success of a business wouldn't be predicated on that. It would be predicated on how well it served the community in which it worked, how satisfied the workers were who worked there, and so on. It's a different orientation from the profit is the bottom line of modern capitalism. So yes, growth is a fetish in capitalism, but we don't need that fetish, but we have to understand that to solve it may require us to come up against whether we want capitalism to continue as well. If discussions of these issues like this one strike you as important to have as part of the national conversation, then join with us, partner with us, share these things with friends, co-workers, relatives, anyone who might be interested. It's a way of our all helping each other to change the way this country and this society work. And of course, if you could help us financially with the costs of producing and distributing these videos, that will be enormously appreciated as well. Thank you.